Okay, so um, once again, uh, the mixed strategies are going to come up later. Um, so here I'll just give you the notation. Uh, that's it. Um, so uh, we usually denote, uh, so if SI is the strategy space for player I, we denote this triangle SI, which actually means uh, a simplex of SI. It basically um, a vector P1 all the way up to P number of elements in SI. So it's a vector which is an element of 0, 1 to the power number of elements in SI such that um, summation I from 1 to, uh, well, J from 1 to number of SI pi is equal to 1, all right? So this is a simplex of SI or a probability distributions over SI. So we call this a set of mixed strategies. So remember our prisoner's dilemma example, a strategy set of player 1 is confess, don't confess. So therefore, delta S1 is nothing but P, P1 minus P in 0, 1 to the power number of strategy in this set, which is 2, such that P, well, the summation of P plus 1 minus P is equal to 1, which is automatic. All right? So we don't really need to write this case. Uh, you can just ignore this. So it's basically just this. P1 minus P is an element of 0, 1 square. So this is therefore, for example, one half, one half is one mixed strategy. One third, two third is another mixed strategy. I don't know, five over eight, three over eight is another mixed strategy and so on. Uh, we usually, an element of this set, we denote it, is denoted by usually sigma. All right, so we read it as sigma, uh, sigma sub i. So sigma sub i, basically a mixed strategy. Okay, and obviously we define uh, this exactly the same fashion, right? Uh, what is this? Well, this is basically, remember, S1 cross product all the way, S i minus 1 cross product, S i plus 1 cross product all the way up to S n. So we have this Cartesian product and then take the simplex of this Cartesian product. And so we a, sim, a simple element of this is sigma minus sub i, which is an element. So this is basically the strategy uh, 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 profile of all the other players but player i. So we denote this. So uh, 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 triangle S basically means the uh, mixed strategy profile. All right, so this is the set of mixed strategy profiles and then sigma element of this set means this is nothing but a strategy profile, a mixed strategy profile, a mixed strategy of player one, player two, all the way to player n, assuming that there are n players. All right? And as usual, I always denote, uh, let me open up some space here, I always denote my player, uh, and my strategy profile as mixed strategy of player I and mixed strategy of everybody else. Okay, um, so that's it. So this is basically the notation you should uh, keep in mind um, later when we talk about mixed strategies. Um, so here is obviously how do we calculate the payoff? Well, we calculate what we call expected payoff, right? Because when uh, mixed strategies or beliefs are into the picture, uh, the outcomes are not deterministic, they are probabilistic. So here, let's go back to our 
a simpler version of the prisoner's dilemma kind of game, all right? So let's say C, D, C, D. Um, I'm just making up payoffs, all right? Uh, so 2, 2, 0, 3, 3, 0, uh, 1, 1, okay? So here, for example, what is the utility of player 1 if he plays strategy C, but player 2 plays strategy, mixed strategy sigma 2, where sigma 2 is equal to 1 third, 2 third. What does that mean? So he plays C with 1 third probability and D with uh, a 2 third probability. So the first one corresponds to the first strategy, second one corresponds to second strategy, third one, if there is any, corresponds to third strategy, uh, third pure strategy, and so on. So given that player 1 is playing C, and the second player is playing a mixed strategy according to those, what is going to be the utility of the first player? Well, this is an expected utility. Why so? Well, because if player one is choosing C, he's going to get either two or zero, right? These are, remember, the first numbers belong to the first player. Second numbers belong to the second player. So when am I going to get two? I'm going to get two if player one, player two, I'm sorry, plays C which is an event that is expected to occur with one-third probability. And so therefore, my utility of playing C is under the assumption that my uh, 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 opponent is playing sigma 2, is 2 times probability that he's going to play uh, C plus 0 times probability that he's going to play D. So therefore, my utility is 2 over 3. You see? So, however, what is my utility if I play D? Again, under exactly the same strategy. Well, in this case, uh, I'm going to get 3 or 1. So, 3 with probability 1 third and 1 with probability 2 third. So, this is basically uh, 3, 5 to the power 3. Okay? So, I just want to say a few things. One, this is nothing but expected utility of player one, all right? And why do we calculate expected utility? Well, this is basically why I wanted to go through the uh, uncertainty first before doing game theory. Well, here the decision maker is actually making a decision under uncertainty, right? When I play C, it's a, it's a sure thing, right? I am choosing an action, strategy, alternative, C. But the thing is, the outcome is going to be either uh, uh, 2, uh, sort of the payoff that I'm going to get is, is either 2 or 0. And according to those probabilities, right, whether the accident occurs or not occurs. So therefore, uh, I assume that our players are expected utility maximizers, all right? So meaning they, they calculate their expected utilities and then compare their expected utilities and see which action or strategy is going to give them higher utility, all right? That's the idea. So therefore, these payoffs, right, 2 here, 0 here, these are, in fact, von Neumann Morgenstern utilities. Remember, uh, you know, the... Uh, the two here may be a jail time, right? I mean, it, it wasn't a, 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 I'm sorry, the, it, it, the jail time wasn't two, but here the outcomes are like jail times in, in years. And so we transfer them into utilities and then multiply them with probabilities. So here, therefore, this utility transformation is in fact using this idea of a von Neumann Morgenstern expected utility uh, theory. All right. So therefore, we call those numbers whenever you see a game matrix or any game, we assume that they are von Neumann Morgenstern utilities already given to you. All right. So that's 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 important. Um, so let's see if I have time. Well, yes, I do. So maybe one more example. So this time, let's suppose. The first guy is playing this mixed strategy, uh, uh, one fourth, three uh, quarter, all right. And then the uh, and then the second guy is also playing a mixed strategy, one half, 
one half. So the question is, what is the utility of the second guy if he plays, if his opponent plays sigma one and his opponent two plays sigma two? What is it? Hmm. All right. Well, this is how we're going to calculate it. Well, this is the second guy's utility. So we're going to be calculating expected utility, but you have to be very careful about how you calculate this expected utility. So here, there are actually two components, right? Uh, the utility of the second guy, uh, given that first guy plays sigma one, and then the second guy is playing uh, C. And then utility of the second guy, uh, sigma one, oops, this is sigma one, and then he plays D. So what I know is that with one half probability, I am going to get, I'm going to play C. So therefore, this is going to be my expected utility. And with one half probability, I'm going to be playing D. And so this is going to be my expected utility. So therefore, my overall expected utility under sigma one, sigma one, sigma two should be one half times this plus one half times that. However, what is this? Well, this is my expected utility. And how do I calculate it? Very similar to the calculation here. Well, look, this is nothing but with um, one fourth quali uh, quality, I'm sorry, with one over four probability, my opponent is actually going to be playing C and I am playing C. So my utility is U2CC plus with three over four probability, my opponent is going to be playing D and I will be playing C. So therefore, this number is exactly equal to this. Okay, what else? Well, let's look at this. This is an expected utility. So according to my opponent's strategy, which is sigma one, he's going to be playing one over four with probability. I'm sorry, he's going to be playing C with one over four probability. So with one over four probability, my utility is U2CD plus with uh, 3 over 4 probability, my utility is DD. Okay, so let me open up some space. Uh, let me write it here or yeah, let's, let's write it here. So therefore, the utility of the second guy under strategy, mixed strategy, sigma 1, sigma 2, is equal to one half, a big parenthesis, this expected utility, which is one over four times U2CC, CCU2, it's two, plus three over four times DC, U2, the payoff of the second guy under DC, the first guy plays D, the second guy plays C, so it's zero. That's it, plus one over two probability. Uh, the second guy is playing D, so we are in this column. So it's gonna be three with one over four probability, because CD corresponds to three, plus three over four probability is gonna be one. Okay, so whatever that equals to. Um, this is uh, two over four, one over two means one over four, plus, this is three plus three, six over four, one over two, uh, three over four. So it's uh, one over four, three over four, it's equal to one. All right, so his expected utility, his expected payoff is gonna be one if both player one and player two mixes. All right, um, yeah, so uh, th the only complication once again is is, is how to form the expected utilities. But the original idea of uh, mixed strategies are coming directly from beliefs, all right? So whenever you see mixed strategy, just think of, it's a scenario where player one uh, believes that his opponent is gonna randomize between C and D according to this probability, which is one half, one half. And the scenario under the same scenario, player two believes that player one actually randomizes C and D between probability one over four and three over four.
if this is the case, under those beliefs, okay, uh, what is the expected utility or payoff for player two? Well, it's one. All right. Again, the only complication is maybe how to form this expected utility. But if you're clear about expected utility calculations, there shouldn't be any worries. Uh, because the reasoning behind the uh, mixed strategies is very simple. Just the beliefs. Okay, that's it for today.